Welcome to the 12th video in my indoor weather station tutorial series. Last time I spoke about this sensor which measured equivalent CO2 and this time I'm going to be using a more expensive sensor to measure actual CO2 levels. In contrast to the other sensors we've been using so far, this one doesn't have I squared C communication, instead it uses something called UART communication and therefore it has, it has um, slightly different wiring. So you'll notice that there are four pins on top and five pins at the bottom. That's how you can differentiate the top and bottom. We will have a power supply, which this time is five volt and not 3.3 like the others. We'll have a ground line, which goes to the ground here. And then we have two other pins down here. And here. And in my experience, once I hook this up using the UART connection, um, I will lose my remote desktop connection, so I'll have to restart that. Okay, so I think what actually happened there was that the Raspberry Pi restarted, so I had to wait a little bit. Um, okay, luckily this time there are no external libraries or anything, so we can go straight into coding. So we need to import serial and time. That's this. Then we'll have a ser object, which is serial.serial. And here we need to enter a couple of arguments. So this is the address. And then we'll have a baud rate of 9,600. Um, time out. This is, I think, um, if it's not getting a reading, then it'll um, it'll quit after half a, half a second. And what we then need to do is use this um, method here. Not entirely sure what that means, to be honest. But what I generally just do is get example files somewhere and then try to sort of t tailor them to my own needs. So what they say is that we need to do this again here. And then, and here it gets a little bit technical and to be honest, I can't tell you exactly what this means. <coughs> but this is some <coughs> um, signal processing thing where this is where it's, I think it's, it's reading bytes from the sensor for, in this case, one second. And the response is then read into this variable. Um, and I think this means that eight bits or, yeah, eight bits of data are read. So until uh, number seven. Then from that, we get a pi reading. and a low one. And then we calculate the CO2 level by using this. I'll be lying if I told you that I completely understood what's going on here, but like I said, um, I'm not an engineer. All I want is the CO2 reading. And that's what this will hopefully um, give me. Now I'm going to save this in the directory where I've saved all the other stuff. And again, using this um, underscore so that we can easily differentiate what's a library and, and what's a sensor. Then I'm going to go into our directory where, where we've been working all this time. And I'm going to use Python to, to execute it. And let's see, sleep needs an argument. Let's repeat that. Oops. 
this needs to take the fourth element or the fifth element of rest. And now it should work. There we go. So this is telling us that um, the end this room is currently 800 and, uh, 700 and something parts per million. And uh, just as reference, so the uh, um, outdoor air should have something around, I think it's 430 or may maybe a little bit less, um, so something around 430 parts per million worldwide. So I've already reached uh, double, even though I haven't been in this room for too long, but the window is closed and the door is closed. So I'm going to do a little experiment where I just open the door and the, and the window and get some cross ventilation going and we can see how this value will then drop. So I'll be right back. Okay, so there you go. I was just gone for a couple of minutes and that was enough to basically halve um, the CO2 level in the room. What I was measuring before wasn't necessarily out of the ordinary, but um, rooms do get stuffy pretty quickly if you, if you haven't got the window open. So I'll recommend you to just air your room fairly regularly and lead a happier and healthy life. Anyway, um, I hope this was helpful and you liked the video. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.